looking back, do you think you might have been too adversarial in terms of the things you were saying about Hamza Yusuf's record? Well, I think when you're electing the First Minister of Scotland, we need candidates who are able to stand up, have courage and competence, and whoever is elected will need to be able to stand up to the UK government, will need to be able to stand up to other parties, and will need to be able to get to grips with the really serious, difficult issues. And I think it does the people of Scotland a service and SNP members a service if we can approach these debates with frankness, robustness and honesty. In, in terms of the exchanges that you had with uh, Hamza Yusuf last night, do you think there's any way either of you could serve in the other's cabinet if you became First Minister? Absolutely. So you'd still be happy to serve Absolutely. in Hamza Yusuf's cabinet and vice versa? Absolutely. Hamza is an exceptional guy. We are in the middle of a contest. It's an election contest. And if the SNP is to build on the last 15 years of government and take the party into the next 15 years, we need to have that space for robust, frank exchanges. And I think, ultimately, when the people of Scotland are dealing with the profoundly important issues that they're dealing with in terms of poverty, cost of living, the future of our public services, the path to independence... We need a leadership campaign that can actually tackle these issues with uh, you know, a grown-up approach. Well, Hamza, you've had a number of jobs in government. When you were Transport Minister, the trains were never on time. When you were Justice Minister, the police were strained to break breaking point. And now, as Health Minister, we've got record high waiting times. What makes you think you can do a better job as First Minister? You see you're the only candidate that can persuade people who voted no. In the first week of your campaign, you had people who voted leave, uh, voted yes, leave your campaign. MSP after MSP. You've had many people, particularly from our LGBTQ community, say they won't vote for independence if you're the leader. Forget persuading no voters. You can't even keep yes.